I heard of Franklin Pierce College because it was a brand new school in 1966 when I applied for admission. And fortunately, Franklin Pierce took me on probation. No other place would take me at all. This is a, a golden opportunity, the only opportunity I, I would ever have to be able to succeed. I've been thinking what type of lessons and the type of people that went to Franklin Pierce and what did I get out of that. They, we didn't really seem to fit into the traditional way of learning, like sit down and, you know, read a book. You know, we all read, obviously, but you know what I mean. We just weren't into the traditional way of learning. So when I arrived to Pierce, I think um, maturity might have been lacking a little bit. And um, I grew up a lot in those four years. I grew up in the mid-Atlantic, Virginia area basically, in a military family and went off to college and dropped out of college after about a year and a half and uh, went into the grocery business and found my way from Florida back up to the New Hampshire area and uh, knew that I had to get my degree and decided to go to the continuing education program at Franklin Pierce in the Keene campus. I arrived on that campus very unsure of myself. I wouldn't describe myself as shy, but I would describe myself as um, uncertain, a bit quiet, reserved, and I'm not the same person anymore. And I, I realize this even in my, in my businesses as I'm constantly analyzing the experiences of other people. That started Franklin Pierce when I was probably 19 or 20. I was evaluating the experiences that I was having, my peers were having, and there was something missing. I always knew that I wanted to go into healthcare. I actually started out at Franklin Pierce wanting to do physical therapy. As I took the wide range of health science classes we have, my journey shifted a lot throughout that time. Uh, I thought about med school and being a physician's assistant. So I graduated and still wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go into. I knew that I wanted to go to a grad program, but I wanted to really nail down what that direction was going to be before I committed to a program. I think the mountain can definitely be a metaphor for conquering your fears and conquering your goals. Because when I did get here originally my freshman year, I decided to run for class president. And that was something where I was like, whew, this is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I want to do this. And then I ran. I ran for class president and I was absolutely terrified doing it, but I was pushed outside my comfort zone. So when I think of Franklin Pierce, what immediately comes to my mind is the words life changing. Um, very positive. I'm just really thankful that myself and Corey went to Franklin Pierce. We developed so many friends there that they're our family now. Um, some of my best friends I talk to every day and we met in Franklin Pierce. For me, uh, when I think of Franklin Pierce, uh, the word that comes to mind is passion. Uh, they really helped me develop a passion for what I do. That's the big thing. We love what we do and if you love what you do, you don't go to work, you're just having fun. As we celebrate our 60th anniversary, we treasure our history and are so proud of the profound impact a Franklin Pierce education has had on over 20,000 alumni.